I'm John Pope, Port of Long Beach Community Relations Manager. I'm standing along Pico Avenue, which is our major detour for a road closure that's coming up pretty shortly here. Behind me is the 710 southbound connector to West Ocean Boulevard. That connector is going to be demolished very shortly to make way for foundations for the new Gerald Desmond Bridge. That's about a 30-month closure of this connector. So during that time, traffic is going to detour off of Pico Avenue, right down alongside me here, back on Ocean Boulevard toward Terminal Island and San Pedro. Now, this connector has to make way for foundations for the new bridge. The new bridge is going to be built over the next two, two and a half years, and we're going to get a great new connector to accommodate more traffic flow onto the new Gerald Desmond Bridge. We know this is going to create some impact. Uh, the port is a very busy place. We have a lot of trucks. We have a lot of commuter traffic that uses this connector. But we've done a lot to make sure that the impacts are reduced. Uh, we've created extra lanes along Pico. Uh, we've created new turn lanes. We've added signals. And the whole point is to make sure that the detour goes smoothly. We've added a lot of road signs so people, if they want to get off the freeway and not use the detour, they can find other routes to Terminal Island and San Pedro, and we know a lot of people are going to do that. We've created a lot of exciting digital tools to stay in touch with this project. Uh, we have a mobile smartphone app, LB Bridge. We also have a great website, www.newgdbridge.com, which has all the latest videos, photos, and traffic information. We have a weekly construction update that can be delivered right to your mailbox as well. So please sign up.